Welcome to phase two of your shoulder rehabilitation. You're probably wearing a sling or a cuff and collar or maybe a Sarmiento brace. Uh, the first three weeks you're gonna wear it as much as humanly possible. Um, if your doctor's giving you clearance, you can now take it off. We're gonna do some very gentle exercises with it off. So now that you have your brace off, we're gonna just slowly let this relax and make sure that feels okay. Straighten your arm, okay? We're gonna go, before we were massaging the, the pec minor, uh, the trap and the neck, we're gonna go for actually your anterior deltoid right now um, and just start massaging, if you can, just lightly. We wanna displace, most likely you're bruised. Um, you can use some arnica on there, which has been shown to help with the bruising. Um, but you want to get in that deltoid and start moving things around. Otherwise, you can get a hematoma. Things are going to get clumpy in there. And just do some rubbing. I know this is a little bit challenging right now. You may want to still have your brace on for this. But just go ahead and just rub in there. And there you go. And just feel that circulation. One of the issues that can happen is that anterior deltoid, this muscle right here, can actually just turn off. And then the shoulder humerus just drops down and there's this giant sulcus in there. Just things are just, and, and getting that back up can be challenging. So we wanna keep this anterior deltoid alive. We want it to stay alive, say, hey, how you doing? I'm, I'm gonna contract. In fact, in our next phase, uh, which will be phase three, we're gonna actually start doing some activation of the muscle. If this exercise is too much, go back to the other one. Remember, you're doing all of these at your own risk and under the direction of your healthcare provider, physical therapist, chiropractor, whoever it is. But I'm glad to be here with you. It is a joy to be going through this rebuilding process with you. It's not how many times you fall down, it's how many times you miraculously rise up again and begin your life again with more knowledge, more information, more inspired. Keep going, keep massaging. Let's go down into the deltoid a little bit. Into the deltoid, just rubbing, just getting a little, hey, how you doing? Okay, so now it's a little scary, but we're gonna be doing a little Codman's passive exercise where we're just gonna let the arm fall and realize I don't have a broken arm. So I'm trying to mimic what you're going through here. Okay, and we're just gonna go back and forth just like this. Just move your body and just slowly move that arm and just move it a little bit to your ability. And just letting it go. It's, you're gonna feel that tension in your, in your trapezius just kind of letting go and just allow it to do its thing. This is, again, non-displaced humeral head fractures. Yeah, this is also good for you know, post-surgical, that type of thing, but um, I originally designed it for humerus fractures. Okay, good. And then just come, just try and do a little circle like that. And just letting the arms go. There we go. Just look, making it happen. Okay, and let's maybe even go the other direction. Just moving your legs, moving your body. This isn't about a big swing right now, right? You are in the initial stages. I want you to do two videos a day. Um, you can do this one, another one. You can do both, and the, and the previous one or the next one, whatever phase you're on. Phase one and two are a little similar, but this is a little more aggressive for you. Okay. So let's bring that back up and let's just support it with your opposite hand. Let's just give you just a little something here. Let's support it. Maybe bring it in like this and just support it. Now we're gonna do some lateral flexion of your neck. Again, we don't wanna sacrifice your neck just because your shoulder went through something and just moving it back and forth. Good. Let's do about 10 of these, 10, nine, good job. Big smiles, it's a new day. You're making it through, 
You're doing the things you need to do a lot slower though. Okay, good. And let's do a couple rotations back and forth all the way. Go into that end range motion. Find the end range. Push into it. Good. Now we're going to take the, um, the wrist. Some of you are going to feel better hanging the hand. Some of you supported somebody with the brace. But we're going to just you do a claw with the hand. I'm going to show you this. We're going to go claw, fist, flex. Extend, open, claw, fist, flex. Extend, claw, fist, flex. Extend all the way back. Open it up. Claw, fist, flex. Extend. This is one one of the things I do on my uh, carpal tunnel video. One of my carpal tunnel videos. There you go. Keep going. Soon, within the next few months, you'll be able to explore many more of my videos. The neck videos, the hardcore shoulder videos, the self-massage with Theracane the lacrosse ball, etc. Okay, so just go ahead and just keep going. Now we're gonna do lateral flexion. We're gonna go here like you're chopping, like this. Up, down, up, down, good. There we go. Not the most exciting exercise, but we're doing it, we're celebrating it. Celebrate that, celebrate every day. There you go. Now flex, extend, flex, extend. Open those fingers as wide as you can when you extend, and then flex, open the fingers, flex, open the fingers, good. Now let's do a little supination, pronation, supination, pronation. Good, okay. okay now we're gonna do um, scapular pinching, okay? So again, we did this before, but we're gonna go more range of motion this time. So we're gonna pinch hard, bring it down, and bring it forward. So pinch hard to the back, put them down in your back pocket, and bring them forward, good. Pinch back, down in the back pocket, and forward, good. Pinch back, even get a little muscle engagement here. Bring it down, or a good amount of muscle engagement. Pinch it back, bring it down, and bring it forward. Good. Pinch it back, bring it down, and bring it forward. Pinch it back, bring it down, bring it forward. Pinch it back, loving it. Down and forward. Pinch it back, down and forward. Good. Now, um, this next one might be Again, a lot of these are a little scary initially, but we're just gonna do some passive movement here of your elbow. We're just gonna go here like this. And lift. Good. So that biceps tendon is going right, right here. And right is crossing where you fractured. So, we want to be cautious. We don't want to do weighted biceps yet. You're not brushing your teeth with this arm yet. But we'll get there. At this point, your other hand is just becoming a genius, making up for the shoulder that's challenged. Keep going. Just use that bicep. Again, you might be slower than I am, and that's okay. Just nice and slow. Just saying, hey, how you doing? It's time to come back to life. It's time to raise from the ashes like the phoenix. Good. Good. Now just let that relax. Now we're going to do um, shoulder flexion. I'm not going to go. We're not going to go back here. We're just going to go here. Just bring it forward a little bit and right back. Slightly forward. If there's any popping, clicking, crunching, anything like that, 
Um, go way easy. Don't go into the, I don't want any popping or clunking. Go talk to your doctor. Good, just moving it back and forth. Good. We're going to show you just like this. Forward. Just like that. A little bit. You're doing beautifully. This is a test right now. This whole experience for you. Pass the test. Get an A on this one. Good. Very good. Okay, so we're going to end with a little massage on those other parts also. We're just going to massage that biceps, I mean that uh, pectoralis minor right again. And just feeling that. There are cogs to the wheel of your shoulder. I mean, shoulder is a shoulder complex, really. Even the ribs right here. Let's work right where your ribs meet your sternum. And in between the ribs, what's called the intercostals. So we need everything moving to make up for what's going on with you right now. So go in between those ribs. You're going to feel a little pain in there. Find some pain in there. A lot of times the breath can just decrease, right? And so we want to make sure that breath stays big. Um, I want you to do some um, inhalations where we do what's called lung packing. So we're going to end with just some, you can support your arm if you want, but we're going to take some deep breaths in and then we're going to go as hard as we can, just really breathe in. And then we're going to breathe all the way out. We're going to do four of these, okay? So you're going to breathe in as hard as you possibly can and hold. And then breathe out everything. Let that, let those ab, abs just go as, shrink as much as you can. Get every bit of air out of your lungs. Keep going, going, going. Everything, everything, everything. And we're gonna reinflate. We're gonna go as much as we possibly can. Breathe in through the sides of the ribs, everything. And then breathing out. Let it all go, all go. Suck in that belly, keep going. Feeling that rib cage expanding and contracting. We need those ribs to stay mobile. Good, take it in again, big breath in. And then breathing out. Breathe out further and more than you possibly thought you could. Make sure you stay hydrated. We need you hydrated right now. Big breath in. And then breathing all the way out. Good job. Keep doing this until you're ready for the next one. I'll see you later today and then in phase three.